time. You know that everything that you need is in your spirit and you withdraw from your spirit through your agreement with the Word of God and you stand on that Word and you might cry, but you're not going to leave that Word and it might hurt, but you're not going to disagree with the Word and you might look at it and it don't look like it's changing, but you're staying right there in the Word. If you do that, God will not deny you the access of the power that is on the inside of your spirit. But it takes discipline. It takes, it takes saying, oh, I feel like doing this. Oh, man, I, I smell some weed. I, I feel like, oh. And time you realize, time you realize your, your body trying to lead the system, whoa! I don't go by what you feel. What's the word say? Well, somebody made me mad. I feel like cussing you out. Shut your mouth up. You don't tell me what to do. You don't lead this system. Man, that's a fine something walking down over there. I know I'm married, but hey, you know, she, 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 shut up! Get your, uh, get your, get out of here. Get out of here. You run out of here. You don't run this system. You have to train yourself. This ain't gonna be something that's just gonna happen to you because you heard me preach it today. Are you kidding me? The devil is outside plotting and planning, plotting and planning. Oh, that a herd dollar. Oh, I'm going to show them because he figures he's got a stronghold on your feelings because you've been believing what you feel all your life. And now you're going to come up here, I reveal the truth, and you think you're just going to walk on out there and, and just, it's just going to be a piece of cake? You know the things you're going to feel? You understand why we fast? We are fasting to say to our body, you don't lead us. You don't lead us. And you know, you know, we're living in a society right now where you don't see Christians fast like they used to because they don't understand what I'm saying. When you understand spirit, soul, soul and body, fasting will be a, a part of your life. When things happen in your life, you don't wait till I call a fast. When you see your body trying to take over, you call a fast. You tell that body, I know you feel like eating. I know you want to eat this, but you've been, you've been trying to be in control. So we, I'm going to fast you. I keep my body under subjection to my spirit, and you are out of control, so we're not eating today. And it's like, I want something to eat. I know you want something to eat, but you don't run this system. Because if I follow you, I'm going to die. If I follow you, I'm going to stay broke. If I follow you, I'm going to stay in bondage. If I follow you, things don't mess up. I've been following you all this time, and look where you got us. Look where, where you got us. Now I'm ready to change. We are no longer following you. We are voting you out of the system. We are now following the Word through the Word of God. Are y'all getting this? Come on sometime, you tired. Woo, I need a drink. Shut up. <laughs> Ain't nobody ask you about needing no drink. And I tell you, when you're working with, with, with saved folk, you need a drink sometime. I need a drink. I need a drink. I need something real hard. Just, just hard. Let it burn. Some of that, bro, rock that moonshine. <laughs> That real moonshine in that, in that old jelly jar. You don't follow what your body says it wants. You check out what the Word says. Yeah, but... But I feel like I got to have, no, 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 no. You go on a fast, you get in the Word, you adjust your system to make sure you're following Him. And whatever you need, it'll come out of your spirit and you will not be addicted to something that controls you. Are you in Ephesians yet? Yeah. Ephesians 4, verse 17. This I say. This I say, therefore and testify in the Lord that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. And how do other Gentiles walk? 
in the vanity of their minds. Now, in proper context, Gentile was a non-Jew, someone not in covenant relationship with God. So, in other words, he's saying here, unbelievers don't use their minds to perceive spiritual truth. They don't. They can't because they don't have the Word of God. Unbelievers don't use their mind to perceive spiritual truth. And he says, you should not be walking like unbelievers 